friend Ernie. He said to me, Soph, how come you never tell me when you're having an orgasm? I said to him, Ernie, you're never around. I'll never forget it, you know. I was having tea one time with my girlfriend, Clementine. The doorbell rang. There was a delivery boy there with two dozen roses. I opened the card. It said, love from your boyfriend, Ernie. I said to Clementine, Clementine, do you know what this means? For the next two weeks, I'm going to be flat on my back with my legs wide open. Clementine said to me, what's the matter with you? Ain't you got a buzz? That's what keeps coming back oh, oh. I'll never forget it, you know. I seem to have forgotten it. <laughs> I'll never forget it, you know. For the longest time, I didn't wear no underwear. Used to drive my boyfriend Ernie absolutely batty. One time I caught a terrible cold. Ernie said to me, Soph, you've got a terrible cold. You've got to go see the doctor right away. I said, all right, Ernie, make an appointment for me. So he rang up the doctor and this is what he said, unbeknownst to me, Doc, I'm sending Soph over. She's got a terrible cold, but that's not the problem. The problem is she don't wear no underwear. Do me a favor, tell her the reason she got this cold is on account of she don't wear no underwear. You got that? Right ho, says the doc. So I, like a schmuck, <laughs> trot on down to the doctor's office. Doctor says, open your mouth and say, ah. I opened my mouth. I said, ah. You can stop clapping. Doc looked down my throat. He said, Soph, you ain't wearing no underwear. I said, I beg your pardon? He said to me, Soph, you ain't wearing no underwear. I said to him, Doctor, you can look down my throat and see I ain't wearing no underwear? He said, that's right, Soph. I said, Doc, do me a favor. Look up my ass and tell if my hat's on straight. 